ground fighting is not some singular, you know, dynamic, but it's much bigger, right? So it goes into healing, uh, it goes into survival, and, 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 you know, and we've done the game, you know, the ground fighting game, but Vladimir wants to show system is much bigger. I'm going to constantly find positions where I can give him attention. Now we're going to apply uh, pressure. Right, so we're going to apply a little pain to your partner. You have to start working inside. That's your first escape. It's the breathing first, right? So if you're relying on a little bit of tension on the outside, you're going to be playing catch up. We're not going technique because we're not, you can go anywhere and look for technique. So here, what I want you to do is you want to start to find a position where you twist but at the same time, you find a position where he can't just escape right away. So we've done compression, you know, holding the leg. We've done extensions, trying to extend the elbow, and then the body's trying to move, right? trying to escape. We start to wrestle, and I'm just focused on him. The tunnel vision will blind me to the next attacker. He'll be able to advance from behind me, and apply whatever he wants. But we're gonna try to apply everything together now. Like, we're gonna add the punching, the brakes, and the wrestling all together. What happens when you end up in a, on the ground and the guy's bigger, stronger, he's on top. And then there's a third person coming in to hit. They were asking, what if the person's really good and they advance and they're able to move into a quick technique for a break or for a submission. So just hopefully the training gives us awareness and that when there is real danger, that we have the ability to survive. It's like what Eric was saying. Yeah. And when I That's first wrestled with Vladimir, the, the first thing when I, he said, do whatever you want, do whatever you want. That's it, so I did whatever I want. And right away, I, I was in the most worst lock I've ever had in my life. Right, the worst lock ever. And, and then he said, this is because you work for sport, I work to survive.